Hello everyone, uh, Ryan from iOS Mars here again today. Uh, just going to carry on a little bit with uh, my uh, Aurea into Aurea using Audio Bus tutorial. So this is uh, part two of that, where I'm going to show you how to do it uh, using uh, a subgroup instead of the master uh, output, so that we can uh, we can monitor uh, our effects as uh, as they process, which is uh, you know much better. And uh, I'll get a little bit into the you know, the input output matrix as well. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, to load up Aurea in my output here, and I'm actually going to go ahead and. Uh, create a new project as I always do but um, I'm gonna use just the just the um, just the same uh, guitar riff that I used last time that I recorded last time in uh, the last tutorial there so I'll just uh, I've added it to my uh, audio copy so I'll just paste it in when we start a new track here so uh Let's go ahead and uh, name this. Uh, to oops. Aurea two. I'll go over to my uh, timeline options here. I'm just going to add a new track. Uh, mono's fine because uh, that's what we recorded mono. So uh, now that we have our track, let's select it here and uh, we'll click edit and go to audio paste where I have my uh, my guitar riff that I recorded last time. So I'll just paste that in. And uh, as you can see right away, because I didn't fix my transport options, this doesn't line up properly. So let's uh let's go ahead and turn that to bar speeds. And there we go. We got a we got it lined up really nice. So um instead of looping this this time cuz we're going to be recording, I'll just uh I'll actually copy this just through Aurea and uh select uh my beat snap here. Make sure my cursor's on the on the beat that I want to paste into. I'll paste that. And uh, if you use this little, uh, there's a little colored uh, plus symbol graphic there. We can actually select more than one at once and copy them both, and we can paste them both in to save us, you know, a bit of time if we're gonna just fill this up but I think four repeats of this is uh, is probably more than enough so uh, yeah there we go for that uh, let's give it a listen right <clears throat> okay so um, before I add in uh, Aurea into the input and uh, I'll use amp kit again in the effects uh, I'm actually gonna just uh, set up a few things here so uh, let's click on menu and go to our output matrix where we're gonna click on uh, the sub one we're gonna want that to be uh, to be selected and uh, now we'll go over to our uh, to our mixer panel here and uh, first of all, I'll rename this track by uh, just double tapping this uh, the bottom space down here. So I'll just rename this guitar mm, dry. Oh, I don't have room to write guitar dry. There we go. <clears throat> and uh, there's a little um, block there that says subgroup. So let's click that and select one subgroup one so we're gonna play this out into our uh, first subgroup here so um, what I'm gonna do is uh, actually turn this all the way down cuz uh, we're not gonna want it to repeat the clean uh, channel I'm not sure why it does that but it will so you can see it's coming through so we're set for that 
Excellent. So uh, now let's pop back to uh, Audio Bus. And I'm going to add my amp kit in. Just probably going to put Ori to sleep again. So uh, I was playing with this one a little bit earlier and it's kind of neat so I'll use this as an example for uh, showing you guys here. So now that we got uh, we got our amp, amp kit set up, let's go back to the Audio Bus app and uh, we'll wake up Aurea again. And again as we select Aurea here we're going to select the little arrow and we'll just choose sub 1 for subgroup 1. And now uh, we should actually be ready to go with this. So let's go back to our timeline here. We have it. Uh, we have it armed to recording, and we're going to need it armed to recording in in order to hear this. So as you can hear, uh, we got our effects running, and we can hear it. So uh, as you can hear, uh, we can uh, we can mess with this quite a bit as we're recording. Uh, one of the things is uh, you're also going to hear the clean track as well over top of this. So let's just give this a go and uh, try to record a little bit of this. So obviously you can see it's created our effect track here. So we can uh, go ahead and turn uh, the arm recording off and we'll mute our dry track. And uh, let's give this a listen to.
Right on, so uh, it all works. And now uh, I had a little bit of time left on my video, so um, I'll show you something extra here. I know when uh, Doug did his video, he did uh, to add a new track into uh, into Aurea. He he um, he actually added a new track in, which I'll do. I'll add a new track in. But we want this to be. Uh, uh, a new amp kit track. So uh, what Doug, Doug did was uh, grab this and uh, drag it down, which is a really simple way to do this. Don't don't get me wrong, great way to do it. But uh, we can actually do this through the input matrix too. So I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. So we have our original amp kit here. So let's just turn that to mic, and uh, we'll go over to our audio bus and turn the track three to one and two and that's it and now it'll record from this one so turn this off so you can see now it's coming through this one so there we go uh, yeah, I don't know whatever is easiest for you I personally like to keep creating my tracks downward instead of uh, dragging my my old is tracked down, so uh, you know you can always you can always grab these and uh, change the order and everything. Anyways, so yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys for today. And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know this one's a lot better for testing uh, Aurea into Aurea um, than my last video was. Uh, it took me a little bit longer to figure out how to do it this way and. Uh, get the best sound I could and everything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.